My name is Jennifer Lee, and I'm a program manager on the Azure App Service team. What is App Service? Our team works on a platform as a service offering that allows you to quickly and easily deploy your web applications. We deal with infrastructure, promising you high availability so that you can work on your cool web apps with peace of mind. In the past couple of months, our team has released several new and exciting products and features. First, in case you haven't heard, Microsoft loves Linux. Along those lines, we have released App Service on Linux, which allows you to run your web app on Linux. Either use our built-in images or bring your own container with our Web App for Containers offering to get your web app up and running in minutes. Our Linux offerings have the benefits that you love about App Service, deployment slots, auto scale, custom domain inserts, and more. Second, on the App Service for Windows side, we are giving our premium tier users double the bang for your buck. We announced the general availability of the premium V2 tier, which gives you the D series VMs for the same price as our previous premium offering. This means faster processors, SSD storage, and double the memory to core ratio. Finally, what do all of these offerings have in common? That's right, you run your web apps on them. And when you're running a web application, there are only a few things worse than getting those dreaded 500 errors or your users telling you that your site is down. Today, our newest announcement is the general availability of App Service Diagnostics, which is a new experience that makes troubleshooting your web app more intelligent and interactive. We analyze a variety of different metrics to find out and point out what's wrong and guide you to the right information to troubleshoot and resolve your issues easier and quicker than before. Now, let me show you how it works. To open App Service Diagnostics, click on Diagnose and Solve Problems on the left-hand menu. Once on our home page, you have several options. First, you should ask yourself this question. Do you already know what's wrong with your web app? If you already know what's wrong with your web app, you can investigate further by selecting these tile shortcuts that correspond to the problem category that you're interested in, such as web app down, web app slow, and so on. If I click here, I get the graph right away that I'm interested in, and you can further explore the other findings that we observe for you. But if you're not sure what's wrong with your web app, you should run our new health checkup feature by selecting the blue yes button. Health checkup will analyze your web app to give you a quick interactive overview that points out what's healthy and what's wrong, telling you where to look and investigate the issue further. Here, the health, health checkup report has been generated. You can get a quick overview of the status of four different problem categories, requests and errors, app performance, CPU usage, and memory usage. We give you a gray graph here determining what has been happening for the last 24 hours for each of these four problem categories. Let's look at this example. So one of the things I love about the quick overview is that there's these icons on the left-hand side, these red, orange, and green ones, to indicate the healthiness of that area. You can click on each tab to open up the corresponding graph and click full report at the bottom to analyze it further. So right now, according to this red alert here, it seems that Diagnostics has found I was having high CPU issues. On the App Service Diagnostics backend, we analyze all these detectors that are monitoring your web app so that during these unhealthy times, we point you to the relevant information to resolve your issues. Let's check it out. Here, I can click the blue yes button to get more information. First, we see this quick summary of what went wrong. So high CPU was detected right now. And the affected instance that App Service Diagnostics found is indicated here. These graphs below that get generated allow me to see for myself when and where I was having this issue. So I know exactly what's going on. 
for each app and for each instance. Diagnostics also has recommendations as to what I should do next. Now we know where to look, but we want to figure out exactly how to resolve these issues. I'll go ahead and respond yes to here to see more troubleshooting options. Okay, so here is our troubleshooting and next steps panel. As you can see, Diagnostics found two suggestions, restart app and scale up app service plan. These are mitigation steps, but in other scenarios, other issues, there may be other tag suggestions for troubleshooting or even preventative measures that you can take. Each suggestion is divided into three parts. The first is a quick description of what the troubleshooting suggestion is. Then we give you actual action items that you can implement. So in this case, Diagnostics found that the specific app that is having a high CPU, we can do an advanced application restart on it. So we can restart this particular app, Net Practice, on this particular instance. So if we click this button here, it will automatically do that for me. Another option is to start the process in all instances. Let's say if the first one didn't work the first time. Last, we give you more detailed advice down here. We want you to know both how and why you're performing these troubleshooting steps and any caveats that we want you to know about before doing that. So I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that my web app is up and running here. But I also want you to pay attention to the right-hand column in case this uh, suggestion doesn't work in your scenario. We want App Service Diagnostics to be a one-stop shop for your troubleshooting needs. So that's why we included these additional resources in this right-hand column. This includes support tools and a list of helpful links to give you easy access to a variety of different resources with content that can help you troubleshoot your web app. Just select the plus sign next to each title to expand that selection. So for example, here I can quickly access the app service team blog without having to search for it elsewhere. It's a one-stop shop. Great. Our team has been looking at a lot of different issues that come through our support center previously to figure out and help App Service Diagnostic learn from all the issues that our customers have been having. That's why leaving feedback is essential and we allow, that, allow you to do that right here in App Service Diagnostics. We read every one of these and this actually helps our product team come up with the next thing to add on to App Service Diagnostics, so we make sure we create an experience tailored to you. Chances are your web app is running happily right now, but knowledge is power, and now you know where to go when you do run into issues. Hopefully, you're excited as, about these features as we are. So I'm asking you to check this out. Check out the Health of Your Web app and chat with us on Twitter to leave some feedback, especially since we'll be taking your suggestions to add more features. And don't forget to check out other announcements on our team blog.